Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and good day everybody. Welcome to Introduction to Syariah Course. Do you know what you are going to learn in this course? This course deals with the concept of Sharia, its characteristics and objective. It also discusses the historical development of Islamic law, the challenges and prospects of the implementation of Islamic law in a plural society. This course is very important, especially for those who want to understand what Sharia is all about. You will, you will be learning six chapters under this course. Chapter 1. The concept of Sharia and its characteristics. Under this chapter, you are going to learn the difference of Sharia and Fiqh. It is important to understand these two terms in order to avoid confusion in understanding Islamic law as a whole. The other subtopics under this chapter are the objective of Sharia, the distinguished features of Sharia, and lastly, the difference between Sharia and man-made law. Chapter 2, Sources of Sharia. This chapter covers the primary sources of Sharia, that is Quran and Sunnah, and secondary sources, which are among others, Ijma, that is consensus of opinion of ulama, Qiyas, analogical deduction, Uruf, or customary practice, and Maslahah Musalah, or we call it public interest. Chapter 3 Concept of Makasid as Sharia. In this chapter, you will be taught on the three different categories of human needs that should be preserved. Those are those are Daruriyat, basic needs, Hajiyat, or we call it supplementary needs, and Tahsiniyat, embellishment. Chapter 4, Historical Development of Islamic Law. This chapter covers the development during the pre-Jahiliyah period, the period of Rasulullah, the righteous caliphs, or we call it Khulafa al-Rashidin, Umayyad, and Abbasid period, and the last one is during Ottoman Empire. Chapter 5. Four, ma four authoritative mazhab or school of thought in Islam. There are four major authoritative mazhab in Islam, which are Shafi'i, Maliki, Hanafi, and Hanbali mazhab. What we'll, we will do is to examine the background of those mazhab, and the most interesting part is you will learn why those mazhab have contradicting views in understanding certain principles of Sharia. The last chapter is chapter 6, Challenges and Prospects in the Implementation of Islamic Law. In this chapter, you will learn the problems and restrictions in the implementation of Islamic Law in a plural society. We are going to take Malaysia in our case study as a representative for a plural society. You will have access to lecture notes, exercises and interesting videos for all six chapters during your 14-week course. Quizzes and discussions will be conducted throughout the course. At the end of this course, after going through all the topics, students will be able to first describe the concept, characteristics and objective of Sharia. Next, discuss the historical development of Islamic law. Lastly, analyze the challenges and prospects of the implementation of Islamic law in a plural society. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. Don't miss this opportunity to learn Sharia, the guidance of life. Sign up for this course now.